Recently Boss were super cool and they sent out their solderless patch cable kits for me to use inside of my BCB90X videos. And you can check out those pedal board builds over here if you're interested in learning more about their new pedal board range. Now I've been getting asked a few questions about more detailed explanations in how you can actually create the solderless patch cables. Now this is a very easy process of going about creating custom length cables. Now today's video isn't paid for or sponsored by Boss in any way. They did provide me the cables for other videos, but I just wanted to create this video myself for you guys watching. So there are a few different stages to creating your solderless patch cable. In the box, you have got your actual connection jack, for the cable itself. You've got this bag of screws that allows you to connect the jack to the cable so it does not become disconnected if it gets snagged. And you also get this provided screwdriver for connecting these screws into the cable. And then obviously you get your custom length cable, depending on what length or what packet you actually buy, will determine how many connectors and how much cable you have to play with when creating your cables. Now, what I learned from my first BCB90X build was that I could have been way more generous with the cable length of these custom cables. I had a lot of apprehension that I was going to run out of cables, so I cut them way shorter than they really needed to be. I ended up having loads of excess cable left over that I didn't really have much use for, so don't be too worried about actually cutting the length that you actually require, because the chances are you're probably not gonna run out of the actual cable. Now, once you've decided your length of cable, how long or short it may be, all you need to do is just simply cut the cable to length that you require. Then you can add your jack connection to the cable itself. Now, this is where you need to be quite specific with how you connect the cable into the jack. Now, you do not want to just simply push the cable straight into the jack connection as it will not seat correctly within the actual jack itself. Now, if you look in detail at the actual connection, there is a little bit of a groove, an opening at the top of the connection. Now, this is where you would take your guitar lead. So you take the lead and you push it down that gap and then in. This ensures that there is a solid connection between the solderless patch cable and the actual jack connection itself. Now, once you're happy that your jack connection has seated correctly with your solderless patch cable, you can go about adding the screw to ensure that your connection does not become disconnected. So you simply just would take the screw, add it into this little gap here, and use the provided flathead screwdriver to seat that in. Now, out of all of the steps, adding this screw is probably the hardest part. Because the screw is so small and you've got to try and use your flathead screwdriver, this is probably the most difficult part of the whole setup process. You can then complete the cable by repeating the process on the other side, and you have finished your custom patch cable. Now, if you're interested in purchasing a pack of these cables and you would like to support the channel and future videos I create, you can check out the link in the video description down below that will take you over to Amazon. And this is an affiliate link that will give me a small commission for any sales that I generated that helps me create more videos. And if you own any Boss products, you may wanna check out my online courses that take you through a variety of different product guides so you can get the most out of your Boss equipment.